Hey guys, this is Apesh from Bebom.com and like every other Note flagship, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is a flagship that brings quite a few interesting features. I mean, we did a video showing you the exciting features of the Note 20 Ultra in action and yeah, the new S Pen features are cool, everything else is cool. One thing we could not show you is the new text mode, which actually makes a lot of sense, especially in these current times. So we thought, why not do a separate video showing you the new Samsung Dex mode and yeah, how you can actually use it practically. Well, let's begin. Okay, so with the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, the biggest update in Dex comes in the form of wireless connectivity. So you no longer need cables or anything else. Now, what I really wanted to check is if this is actually useful or practical to use in day-to-day -day usage for people like me. So I'm going to divide this video into two sections, the interface and the practical uses. First up, enabling it is pretty simple. You just go to the Dex mode on the Note 20 Ultra. And if you have a TV that has Miracast support like the Samsung TV I have, it'll show up here and you can just go ahead and start the Dex mode pretty easily. Yep, all wirelessly. I really like it. Now coming to the Dex mode, this is the PC-like interface and it still amazes me that this is a PC-like interface coming out of a phone wirelessly. It's fantastic. I mean, as you can see, the UI here is very PC-like. There is an app drawer and as you can see, there are all the apps here. So I can just open up apps and they come up in floating windows just like any PC interface. You can even resize windows, move them around and go full screen with one of the apps. And if an app does not support full screen or resizing, there is an option to force them to do so in the Dex Labs page. As you can see, there's another option here as well in the Dex Labs Auto Open Last App. This will basically open up the last app you used on Dex so you can continue where you left off. Apart from that, there is also a redesigned recent screen where you can switch between apps easily. And you can also check out all of your phone notifications right here from this option. Basically, it's a very complete experience. Now, how is this actually useful or practical? Well, let's do a few things. Okay, so let me just open up the YouTube music app and play some music. Well, it's playing and as you can see, I can set the sound output to the TV so I can get a better sound experience. Now, let me just open up the browser and open up our website. Let me just open up a couple of more tabs. These are the tabs that I usually open up first up in the morning. And well, these tabs open up just like they would on the desktop. So that's pretty PC-like. So yeah, the basics work out fine. Now let's try editing a document. So I can just open up the Gmail app and here I can just open the Word document in Microsoft Word and we'll start editing it. As you can see, I can use most of the tools easily here and even edit the text. Now I want to add some more text, so let me just connect a Bluetooth keyboard. Yep, I have the Bluetooth keyboard connected now, so I can just start typing like this. And yeah, this is more like the PC experience we know of. So it's clear that the basic PC like functionality in Samsung Dex works really well even in wireless mode, but there's obviously a lot more you can do. Now say you have a PPT on your phone and you're presenting, you don't need to carry a laptop or basically anything else. You can just wirelessly set up Dex and use the S Pen gestures to switch between the slides like this. Yeah, this is a great use case and you'll look cool while doing it. So most of what I do on my laptop is pretty much covered with Samsung Dex and as for the overall performance of wireless Dex, well, I found it to be pretty good. I mean, this is the first time any device is bringing a capability like this and it is big. So if you ask me, I'd say the experience was good enough and something I can actually use, especially with a mouse and keyboard for the whole PC-like experience. Now, if you're wondering what if I don't have a Samsung TV or a TV with Miracast support, how do I actually try out wireless decks? Well, there's two things you can do. You can actually get one of those Miracast dongles available on Amazon for around 1500 rupees. Or if you have a Fire TV stick, well, that actually supports Miracast. So you can use that to try out wireless Dex. So I tried this out and you get the same Dex mode with the same features and the performance was decent enough. Also, if you don't have a TV, but you do have a Windows laptop or PC, you can actually use Dex for PC or the new link to Windows features, which are actually pretty cool. So you can use the Your Phone app to get your phone's notifications, messages, but you can now even copy links on your phone and paste it right on the PC. However, what's cool is that you can actually run the apps on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra on your PC. So maybe I have the notepad on the Windows laptop open and I'm just jotting something down and I have a YouTube video playing on the Note 20 Ultra app. So this is kind of a cool multitasking feature. So at the end of it all, the question is, who is the Galaxy Note 20 series with Samsung Dex aimed at? See, it's clear that this is aimed at students who attend a lot of online classes, make notes, multitask a lot, and professional users who travel a lot, make a lot of presentations, or always on the go. And with Samsung Dex, they can kind of have a single device for everything. 
To be honest, when Samsung DeX arrived with the Galaxy S8 first, I thought it would be an experimental feature that even Samsung would forget, but Samsung has been improving it year after year. And today, this lets you use a Samsung phone as a sort of an all-in-one workstation. So the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is kind of like your phone, your PC of sorts. So basically, it can be a one device for everything. I mean, it's still a feature that's developing as we go along, but I really like the direction Samsung is taking with Samsung DeX. But I really can't wait to see how Samsung makes it even better with the future Galaxy Notes. Anyway, what do you think about Samsung DeX? Tell us in the comment section below. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to share it now. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. But that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.